to be doing the sheep brain. Here is the list for your academic pleasure. You can pause it and look at it. Okay, ready? Go. All right, here we have the olfactory bulb. Uh, right here we have the optic, nope, I like this one better. Optic chiasma, the optic nerve would be coming off of here but it's been sliced off, so. Can you pause? Okay. Good. Say it again. So optic nerve comes off of here, off of the optic chiasma. Right down from the optic chiasma, we have the mammillary body. Okay. Uh, let's see. Right here, we have the intermediate mass of the thalamus. That little round area. Mm -hmm. uh, right here, we have the corpora quadrigemina. Okay. Right here, we have the pineal gland. The little bulby spot. The little bulby spot. This uh, one's better. Wow. That pineal gland's better. That's the pineal gland? Yeah. Wow. It's bigger. That's enlarged. So, pineal <laughs> gland. Or pineal gland. Potato, potato. So, going back to this one, because I like this one better. <sighs> From here to about here, is the pons. Because it has a little puddle the pokey... Ew, I touched it. Ew. And then from here to here, medulla oblongata. Because it's long. Oblong. Oblong. Right here, we have the fourth ventricle. Uh, this is the cerebellum. Wait, show it again. Yes. I'm sorry, fourth ventricle. A little space. Okay, cerebellum. Little brain. Little brain. These branching things, this branching stuff, arbor vitae. It means tree of life in Latin. Tree of life. Fantastic. All right, um, switching to this brain. This part right here is the corpus callosum. The top layer. The top. Point to it with the needle. Like lift it with the needle. There you go. There you go. That layer right there <laughs> the, is the corpus callosum. This layer. The bottom layer. Is the fornix. Fornix. This space in here. Where he's sticking the needle in is the lateral ventricle. Lateral ventricle. It goes all the way across though. Don't do just there. Yeah, all that. That's where the cerebrospinal fluid goes in. Yes. Ha. Comes out of. Whatever, and then it goes to the third. Is the third shown? No, you can't see the And third. then it goes to the fourth, that which happened. was down there. So it goes from lateral to third to fourth. But anyway, on the sheep brain, we have, uh, um, 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 oh, okay. Frontal lobe. They can't see, like, what you're pointing at. Okay, how about this? Yes, this is the front of the brain. Frontal lobe, parietal lobe, uh -huh. occipital lobe. Uh -huh. I'm going. We're almost done. Temporal lobe, which you don't have to know, but I threw it in there anyway. <laughs> this whole top part is called the cerebrum. The, okay. All the squiggly stuff. All the squiggly stuff on the top of the brain, but one half of this cerebrum is called the cerebral hemisphere. So these are two hemispheres, basically. Yeah. This is one. This is another. Yeah. And peduncles. Oh, I'll forget that one. These are the cerebral peduncles. Wait, what? Like from here to here? The brainstem to the um. The cerebrum to the brainstem. Yeah. Is that little connector, little dot? The little connecting tract area. Show it on the other one. Ew. 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 No, we're going back <laughs> to this one. This is cerebral peduncles. You can kind of see it here, but not really. So just know that it's here. And that is it. Thank you, Brendan. Thank you for watching. <laughs>